Welcome to the video tutorial for a Para Instruments PC60PH Conductivity Multiparameter Tester. What's in the kit? Preparation before use. Remove the battery insulation paper and take off the probe cap. Short press power button to turn on the tester. Rinse off the probe in pure water. Then shake off excess water. Pour calibration solutions into the corresponding vials to about half volume. For optimal performance, soak the probe in the 3M KCL soaking solution for 15 minutes. Then calibrate it before test. pH calibration. Rinse the probe in pure water. Shake off excess water. Dip the probe into the pH 7 buffer solution. Make a quick stir, and let it stand. Long press cal button to enter calibration mode. The screen will turn green. Wait for the reading to stabilize. When the smiley face stays on, short press cal button to finish the first point calibration. After calibration is completed, the tester will return to measurement mode. Icon M will appear at the bottom left, indicating a successful one point calibration. Rinse the probe in pure water. Shake off excess water. Dip the probe into the pH 4 buffer solution. Make a quick stir, and let it stand. Long press cal button to enter calibration mode, the screen will turn green. Wait for the reading to stabilize. When the smiley face stays on, short press cal button to finish the second point calibration. After calibration is completed, the tester will return to measurement mode. L icon will show up next to M indicating a successful two-point calibration. Rinse the probe in pure water. Shake off excess water. If the estimated pH value of your sample is greater than pH 8, we recommend calibrating the third point with pH 10.01 buffer solution. Repeat the previous steps to finish the calibration. H icon will show up next to L and M indicating a successful 3-point calibration. Rinse the probe in pure water and shake off excess water. Notes for pH calibration The first point calibration must be pH 7. Perform the second and third point calibrations immediately after the first point is finished. Do not turn off the meter in between. Otherwise, you will need to restart the calibration process with pH 7 first. Conductivity calibration. Make sure it's in the conductivity measurement mode. If not, press mode button to switch to it. Rinse the probe in pure water. Shake off excess water. Dip the probe into 1413 microsiemens conductivity calibration solution. 
make a quick stir, and let it stand. Long press Cal button to enter calibration mode. The screen will turn green. Wait for the reading to stabilize. When the smiley face stays on, short press Cal button to finish the first point conductivity calibration. The tester returns to measurement mode. M icon will appear at the bottom left, indicating a successful first point conductivity calibration. Rinse the probe in pure water. Shake off excess water. If your estimated sample conductivity level is greater than 2 millisiemens or 2000 microsiemens, dip the probe into the 12.88 millisiemens conductivity calibration solution. Make a quick stir and let it stand. And long press cal button to enter calibration mode, the screen will turn green. Wait for the reading to stabilize. When the smiley face stays on, short press cal button to finish the second point conductivity calibration. The tester returns to measurement mode. H icon will appear next to M, indicating a successful two-point conductivity calibration. Rinse the probe in pure water, shake off excess water. Notes for conductivity calibration. After calibrating conductivity, TDS and salinity will be automatically calibrated. Take measurement. Short press power button to turn on the tester. Rinse the probe in pure water and shake off excess water. Dip the probe into your sample solution, make a quick stir, and let it stand. Record the reading after it's fully stabilized. Press mode to switch from pH to conductivity. TDS. And salinity. Rinse the probe in pure water and shake off excess water. Tips for easy measurement taking. If you turn on the auto hold function, the reading will be automatically locked when it's stable for more than 10 seconds. Then you can record the reading easily. Short press enter to cancel the auto hold and keep measuring. How to set up the auto hold function. When turned off, long press power button to enter parameter settings. Short press mode to switch to P2. Short press enter to select parameter. Short press mode to change parameter to on. Short press enter to confirm the change. Long press power to return to measurement mode. Unit conversion. 1 millisiemens equals 1 EC equals 1000 microsiemens. In conductivity mode, when the reading is greater than 1999 microsiemens, the unit will automatically convert from microsiemens to millisiemens. For example, if the measurement value is 2500 microsiemens, the reading on screen will show up as 2.50 millisiemens instead of 2,500 microsiemens. 1 ppt equals 1,000 ppm. In TDS mode, when the reading is greater than 999 ppm, the unit will automatically convert from ppm to ppt. Probe cleaning. The tester is only as accurate as the probe is clean. Always thoroughly rinse off the probe before and after each measurement with pure water. For tough contaminants, detach the sensor shield. Soak the probe in a paraprobe cleaning solution or detergent water for 30 minutes. Then use a soft brush to clean off the contaminants on the sensor. Afterwards, soak the probe in 3 mkcl soaking solution for 1 to 2 hours. Rinse it off, put back the sensor shield. Then recalibrate the tester before using again. 
Probe storage. For regular storage, just make sure there are a few water droplets inside the probe cap. Then close on the probe cap tightly to maintain the humidity inside so the probe will not be dried out. If the probe is dried out by accident or if you find the probe's response turns much slower than usual, soak the probe in the 3M KCL soaking solution for about 1 to 2 hours to recover its sensitivity. Notes for probe storage. Never leave the probe in the 3M KCL soaking solution for longer than 24 hours as it may cause damage to the conductivity sensor. Never store the probe in pure water like tap, RO, distilled, or deionized water for long as they could damage the pH sensor. If this happens, immediately soak the pH probe in the 3M KCL soaking solution overnight, then recalibrate it before using. Pure water is only for rinsing off the probe. Other parameter settings. When powered off, long press power to enter parameter settings. Short press mode to switch to the parameter that you need to change. Short press enter to select it. Short press mode to change the parameter value. Long press mode to quickly change the parameter value. Short press enter to confirm the change. Long press power to return to measurement mode. Probe replacement. Screw off the probe ring. Unplug the probe. Plug in the new replacement probe, pay attention to the probe's position, screw on the probe ring tightly. Soak the probe in 3M KCL for 5 to 15 minutes. Then perform calibration before testing. Probes compatible with PC60 tester. Battery replacement. Loosen the battery cap lock and pull it off. Unlock the battery compartment and open it. Insert the batteries. All positive sides must face up. Press down and lock the battery compartment. Close on the battery cap.